momentum train for the blue team. But Yellow team just kind of stepping in with these two very safe projectile characters who also, also have their own abilities to gimp and get insane kills. Going to FD, this is going to be a nice open uh, just battlefield. Or not battlefield, sorry. But a playground for just this brawl that's probably going to take, take place. So we start with blue team. Oh, what happened? Okay. Hydra guy absolutely disrupting the blue team's pool. I'm expecting that we're gonna see some kind of... Okay. Absolutely atrocious sportsmanship. Coming from Hydra guy, just pausing in the middle of the game. Um, blue team really just coming in wanting to play the game and Hydra guy is saying, no, it's all about me right now. I'm the most important person sitting down. Um, so that's just how every guy's thing. He's just, you know, like kind of conceded top player that he is. I don't, I don't hold it against him. Um, but anyway, so hopefully Blue Team can, being the people's champ, can take this home away from the top tier uh, villains. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Thank you, Kazuki, understanding me. Um, so if we can stop with this uh, tomfoolery bullshit, I'd like to start the match. Um, Okay, so we finally learned how to press the start button. So we're gonna be going to game one. Finally, uh, they're exchanging those 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 fist bumps that seem so innocuous, but in reality, just in the whole world of these four players who are really battling for their entire livelihood. Um, okay, so we're gonna run it back to FB as I would expect. Uh, Alex is kind of running with that momentum with the Nairs and the Epto, that's or Nairs and Florida. That's where you like to see uh, Roy abusing a low percent to establish uh, neutral wins. So now getting kind of locked up by Ness. Um, Warren's trying to keep that Palutena off, but I feel like Palutena outweighs the Cinerora and the, uh, the defensive options so bad so much. Oh, okay, the great multi parry is going to do nothing. Um, all these characters, all these players really trying to complement their teammates and get some kind of dual hit, but nothing's coming out of it. We're just seeing two different brawls happening on two different sides of the screen. We're going to see blue team kind of establish safe control, but maybe lose it just as fast as they guard it. Um, Incineroar offstage trying to make it back. Okay, that back throws. Not going to kill just yet. It's going to take Ness off. Okay, the dash is going to clear off offstage. It's just, uh, it just seems to be in a brawl state right now where they're all in such high percents that no one, no four characters can be on stage at all at the same time. Okay, so the neutral B is actually not sailed yet, and we'll take that. Um, I just want to see if Blue Team can seal out this yellow stock, so maybe put it into their favorite for game one, or if yellow team is just going to retaliate with a quick comeback. So that's, that's what I was talking about. Alex is going to clean up that uh, Palutena stock, and if they can get as much extra credit as possible, uh, which they actually will get none of, say for 8%, uh, I take it back. So we're going to go back to, it's pretty even right now. Uh, everyone else has the same stock count. Um, various neutral ones happening on stage right now. Uh, no clear. I'm not seeing any clear kind of collaborative team play between any of these people. They, everyone's just kind of just throwing out hits, uh, like by loose team association. Uh, even like as, as soon as I said that, Alex gets the F smash on his own team. Right? Just showing just a very um, lack of ca strong lack of caution in their uh, doubles chemistry. Okay, so the F smash is gonna. I don't know. I think that was like improper uh, uh, DI. But Alex is gonna just pop those two quick stocks off both Grant's Palutena and Oscar's uh, Ness. So blue team, like I said, this is their time. If they can take this, if they can shave off this Palutena stock, it's going to be in their uh, state nicely. But yellow team just keeping these invaders off. Ooh, okay, that extra percent is not really going to help. Um, but Warren carrying, okay, Warren being able to be the one person stock taking the two stocks right now. But that pat, but that back here from Palutena is going to take him on. Okay, Ness trying to come back, makes it on. Okay, beautiful play to not get back drank the bitch by uh, Warren. Okay, so the revenge, is that going to lead to anything? Okay, so this one's going to be off stage. Still has revenge. Alex trying to hold stage control by himself, but uh, okay, that dash likes to get rid of revenge. So I want to see if Blue Team is going to hold the stage control. They're just going to kind of let it go. They're not gone yet. Oh, watch out! Okay, really worst case scenario. Blue Team taking all the hits right there. Um, so if they can scrape this kill off of off, off, uh, Microwave, the, the big teams player, um, that'll be huge for them. But I see them just kind of leaving him in the corner, unconcerned, and I need to be concerned for Blue Team's uh, victorious outcome. Okay, yeah, Yellow Team, as I'm saying, the Yellow Team is just attacking on the percent, just keeping them off stage, putting on more pressure, doing everything in their power to not end this. Oh, that's going to be a big revenge. Okay, that was Ill, definitely ill by. So, Incineroar is sitting with big revenge, holding stage. Is that side B? Okay, is this going to kill? No, I side B probably would have killed right there. I'm not sure I didn't go for it. Okay, so it's up to uh, Grant right now to hold this by himself. Yeah, blue team kind of not being too comfortable with their team's comms off, off grabs. 
Um, okay, big Nair not going to take an impeccable DI. So Grant really has one last chance to make this. And that's going to be it, yeah. Okay. Blue team just, I think, really just barely scraping by in that, in that one. Um, it just seemed like that was such a big scrap fest between all of them that it was hard to establish uh, anyone who was in the lead. But blue team clearly showed that they just had the gumption to, to keep it out all the way until the end. So we're going to go to game two. Um, this thing is such a, we need to keep the tournament moving pretty briskly, so it's going to be best of three. I don't know, so right now, I mean, with that being said, Alex and Warren in a set winning position. Um, and Grant and uh, Oscar, with the possible retaliation, maybe with the possible... About to get 2 up. We'll, we'll see. Why didn't Air Max just hold? I have no idea. I really don't know what how it works in a Alex's brain. I was hoping the chat could help me out because I've been trying to get inside that for like four years and I've had no success. Okay, so game three. Um, Battlefield, I like the more lateral plays that we're going to be seeing, um, or that was obviously anticipated going onto the stage. From, yeah, so from uh, coming out from Yellow Team. Okay, yeah, already we just see Microwave going to town with his platform, just juggling uh, Alex to death. Meanwhile, Zinor we're trying to get some kind of, uh, something started, but um, he's just being either boxed out, or just everyone's running away from him, really. So he's going to get that raw Beyblade. Um, Snope, oh, beautiful punish off Ness. Meanwhile, Alex is just beating the shit out of uh, Grant off stage. I didn't even notice the ZSS counterpick, but I definitely respect that going into Battlefield. You're going to need that high maneuverability to not get caught in a team sandwiching. Not that that was happening that much, but I guess Grant just saw this as a necessary counterpick. So we'll see how this goes. Um, we just saw him kind of run away right when... Okay, so nice team combo is going to put Alex in a really strongly disadvantageous state. The flow uh, PK Flash... Or PK Rocket, sorry. Okay, is this going to be the end of uh, Warren? No, he's going to come back. Okay, but Grant turning his attention on Alex. Yeah, like I said, big scrap fest is happening. Everyone just hitting each other around as far as they can possibly go. Grant barely making it back against the paper. I'm wondering who's going to get this. Uh, I didn't even remember when Alex died, but I'm wondering who's going to get this uh, first kill off these, any of the characters with the three stocks. Because everyone's just kind of like, okay. Wow, Alex in an awful position. Down two stocks, yeah. no one else has lost a single one. So this is going to hurt blue team at the end of this match where we just see a big depth of the stocks versus yellow team's uh, stockade, stockade. Okay, Alex. Instead of definitely making it back, okay, Alex finally getting a, the kill that was needed. I'm wondering, will they be able to get this off? Okay, they can't get that off Oscar. Oh, beautiful up coming from uh, Grant. So, all of a sudden, I mean, not really all of a sudden, but yellow team just playing strong from the beginning and never letting up. This is just looking amazing like it's in their favor. Blue team struggling to get the footing, both literally and in the meta. Yeah, Oscar's playing really clean right now. Just both supporting and aggressively uh, filling in the moments where Grant himself isn't able to cover. And they're just running away with this. Jeez, yeah. So it's never over till it's over, but in Loser's finals of a Pacific doubles, it's uh, you're expecting that the teams that have met here are both very skilled. And Yellow Team does not seem like they want to drop this lead. Oscar's been uh, kind of been the, the lead player this entire game. Uh, we're going to see if he can carry it up or if Blue Team can maybe give some stocks off him and, uh, and Grant. But it doesn't seem like that. Oh man, yeah. Warren just so not ready for that uh, flip kick back on stage. Could he up smash? Against his own teammate really well. Okay, so that F smash was exactly what he needed. So they can get this off uh, microwave. It's going to be huge. If not, he might be going to uh, game three. Okay, so Blue Team at extremely perilous presents. Extremely perilous presents, and yet they brought it back to even. That up he's not going to take it. Uh, okay, blue team just getting just absolutely just just thrown around like ragdolls. While yellow team stands there comfortable early percents. Okay, Warren going for the gusto. Still going to hold alive both him, both blue team, both above 140 each. Refusing to die, looking for some kind of openings. Yeah, that's an ill fated uh, roll in. So this is going to be up to a 140% dead. Cat, and we're gonna see a game three. Dominant showing from Yellow Team. Kind of, um, maybe not the most entirely dominant showing we could have even seen, I think. Uh, they just seemed like they were starting a momentum train and we didn't even get to see where it went. So I think that's where game three is gonna be right now. Um, fantastic plays from both teams. Blue Team just, I think, really was unable to find their footing on that just tight platform stage that both Ness and uh, ZSS just found so many 
benefits from. Yo, previous opponent. Yeah. Please, please uh, call Air Mac right now and ask him what he's thinking. Uh, maybe that'll help him win this game three because I think otherwise he's out of options. Um, yeah, I'm winning in grands right now with Callum for doubles. I haven't played any singles yet. Are we using any character picks? Or yeah, the static, the, the same static picks? Okay, definitely, I respect that. And they were like, PS2. Like this is a very neutral pick. I can see equally being as uh, helpful or detrimental to either of these teams depending on how they use it. Yellow team we just saw just running away with momentum, and right now Oscar just, like I said, that train has not stopped since the last game. Um, Oscar just pushing forward with his percent. Okay, but Alex firing back with these fast aerials that are uh, looping him. Okay, so that's gonna be a quick Roy stop. Oh, I don't even see what happened. I can look at bad DI off the back here, maybe. Um, so blue team already at that stock deficit that I was afraid that they might find themselves in. From yellow team's just brutal uh, showing. Oscar is telling me that he, he was the team that sent this blue team of losers, so he wasn't that afraid. And I can see why. I mean, they're still up. I mean, after all that mayhem, they're still up in full stock. Uh, blue team just shows no signs of uh, getting hit even less, I'd say. They only seem to, like, to be able to capitalize off options when yellow team loses their synergy, and I'm not saying that happens enough for blue team to go anywhere with it. So, in similar getting that beautiful left match, like I said, one just knowing exactly when to throw it out. It's going to take it on the even stock. So, uh, Grant just have no, no percent having been answered back on him yet. Is he going to keep out Alex off stage? Yeah, the air dodge is actually going to go unpunished. Alex is going to go uh, Meanwhile, Oscar being on stage, have no trouble coming back. Blue team trying to put on this pressure right now. Okay, so Grant's back on, kind of throwing around uh, Incineroar. That's not going to kill, which is really fortunate for Blue Team. But they need to establish safe control right now. Okay, so that up smash, that's going to put uh, ZSS in the air. I don't think we're going to see kill. That's a great punish from Warren. Okay, Blue Team actually turning this around. We're seeing a big deficit from beginning of the game, but we've just seen their consistent play. And Warren in particular knowing how to hit those uh, up smashes at the most unexpected moments. Okay, fair. Okay. Nest back throw, notorious for its kill power in any game. Nice down smash coming from Warren. Blue team trying to find the pressure, but Alps throwing it away by doing an unfortunate. Oh my god. Beautiful punch with that upbeat. I don't know. Grant kind of throwing that opportunity away. Blue team is just answering with his vacuum of a team's play from the L team by, uh, with their own results. And um, I mean, as soon as I say that, they're, they're playing faster than I can announce or than I can commentate. This is already an even stock game. Austin only won at a deficit right now, even though he seemed to be playing the, be the dominant player throughout the set on the other team. Okay, is in a bad place? That's going to be the end of Nessus talk. He did not see Alex coming. Okay, so this is going to be up to um, zero two. Oh, big, big damage. So, ZSS is definitely one of the characters I'd favor for 1v2, especially against these two characters. Um, if Grant can just play evasive off of the Roy plays, and especially the big and single hits, that would be huge. But he has to be evasive. Already 84. Oh! That's unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna go to Grand Finals right now. Good shit coming out from uh, Oscar and Grant. Um, but Blue Team, they're not stopping. So, you know, let's go.